you define by looking at the right um, uh, knowledge. You define this this relationship between knowledge and money, which is uh, of an obvious basis equation uh, through the whole reform of, of uh, education. Basically, money is taken. Uh, I'd like to stress this point again as a neutral medium in the world equation. And it was very interesting when you quoted uh, uh, Roy Ascot with gratitude. So I would pose a question, what is the difference between money and gratitude? Uh, whether, it, whether we can actually quantify uh, gratitude with money? And, uh, um, because I think it's a central point when we talk about uh, the, the anti-privatization protests of the students. What exactly they are, they, are, they are claiming is that there is a discriminatory system, and that system is based on money as an access to the, to the education. Furthermore, when we talk about, therefore, we can define this as a financialization of schools, a financialization of yet another societal uh, uh, device. But I'd like to, to think of it uh, uh, something more open and soft. <laughs> Actually, it's edgy and, and has white words as we saw in, in the movie today. And then, then your uh, question uh, was about the relation between uh, schooling as a control and schooling as employment. What is the relation between these two functions that I mentioned? And my answer yet is again very basic, or I try to answer it this way, is the domestication to the industrial internet complex. It's a domestication that actually uh, installs a software in people's minds. So one of the most interesting things to see is actually this, I think, this function of making, a, of domesticating people to a function that is industrialized or, or militarized in any sense is actually set into a trap so that you can serve and be employed into that system, which is a dehumanization in a sense. It's the installation of a series of commands, and we can see it also into the literature of personal development. Most of the personal development literature actually emphasizes on the regularity of certain operations in your life so that you can actually be organized. Uh, I'm quoting here again Immanuel, who quotes also this, the, the relationship between actually uh, uh, an open approach to, to uh, the personal development that hackers have, for instance, in, in this book, what it means, and, and all the literature. So my, uh, my grain of sand in all this construction, which is kind of dystopic yet, it's uh, here and now, I think, is uh, a concept which is curiosity. Yeah. Curiosity. 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 I quote the Latin word because it's a, it's a old Latin concept. Mm -hmm. And it's very interesting to see how actually this concept was uh, actually in its frame into the whole uh, Judaic Christian literature as uh, a very uh, ambiguous concept. To be curious is a sin in the representation of uh, St. Thomas, most, uh, most uh, common for us, but also in the, uh, in the monastic rules. Um, it is, when we see that the whole construction of, of knowledge is built on a mystery, on a dogmatic mystery, on, a, on an economy of mystery, which is the old way, actually, in which the Trinity was described, then we start understanding how really rooted is, at least in the Western world, the idea of curiosity as something that might be actually dangerous to you as, as a learner. So I think there it lies a, 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 a strained relationship between education and, and, uh, and the actual uh, will to, to learn. There are things uh, people would uh, not allow at the north. Yeah, it is, uh, and, the, and the, the danger of uh, 
the other. And you should be curious about certain things and certain other not. And the, the and I I'm very passionate about curiosity. I'm an extremely curious person. And I think that curiosity is an attribute of humanity. And I'd like to conclude this this excursus by as a biological foundation. Of all mammals and animals, yes, by right. age, but yes, yes. above all, every, every mammal is curious of the stuff. Yeah. Infants, maybe not. But the mammals, yeah. Can, they, they, are, they, actually, they actually are curious, I think. Yeah, my interference. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And, and I'd like to leave yes. me that with a question um, about we are, we are told at school on how to actually be. Uh, act regularly within a system, which we could emphasize being how to be machines within a system, but it's not exactly that. But my question is then, what is to be human? And where do you learn to be human? Because the actual devices that teach you to be human, they are not exactly secularized nowadays. Uh, not all of them. The majority is actually bound to an education to, to spirituality, and, uh, and we, we see references in exploring, for instance, uh, Sarah exploring uh, Buddhism. Or, or, uh, so, where, where do we learn to be human, actually, in all, in all this? That, that, would be, uh, that would be my kind of question. And I think that. Uh, a text that you wrote uh, on McLuhan in 2002. 